crash into these beautiful benches. So where are we going now, Elaine? We're going to the Mystic. We're going to McNear's. We're going to go see Will Durst and friends so, through the potholes. Now here's some potholes. <laughs> we covered that two shows ago. <laughs> There are, it's Will and four or five other comedians, so I don't think there's an opening yet. Yeah, Will and friends. He has a lot of friends. Hi. I'm one of his friends, I think. One of his new friends. I, can I at least pretend I'm a friend? <laughs> oh, did I? I'm sure he's going to show up. Yeah, he has a contract. With you? <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about. Backstage, there's uh, the buffet of food and drinks. I mean, there's all the cookies that people got sent for Christmas that they don't want to eat anymore. Too many. <laughs> and there's sausage and cheese back there. And uh, we yell, we scream. It's just like a family. It's after a family 11 years. therapy session it at is. this point. That's cool. Well, that's that's a really good idea. And you we're know? bringing New Year's to the hinterlands. That is our charge. To bring New Year's to people who don't want to go out on New Year's Eve. Yay! Okay. Well, where are you tomorrow night on New Year's Eve? Well, tomorrow night we're in um, San Francisco, so nobody has to drive. Yeah. yeah so, That's right, so we don't have to drive. Everybody yes. else lives in the East Bay, so, so it's uh, actually very convenient for Debbie and me. So by this time, you guys are calling the shots. This is your party, and everybody comes to watch right. you we're guys have a good time. And we do it. We have a great time. That is so cool. And the show is not just stand-up skits and sketches, mm -hmm. and tonight we even have a guest set. Um, normally we have somebody drop in, so mm -hmm. it's uh, always full of surprises, and we have a, a we, we do have a great time. And you're seeing uh, the fifth night, so actually we, I think we're a little better now than <laughs> when we first started. Now. Yeah, well I talked to you last night on your cell phone backstage. Where were you? Last what? night, Redwood City. Yes. Yeah, and the night before that, we were in Berkeley and then Walnut Creek and we started in Pleasanton. And then I talked to you, I think it was a couple weeks ago on your cell phone, and you were in the Midwest, weren't you? Where, where were you? Uh, I, Iowa. Milwaukee, or Indianapolis. Yeah, uh, Indianapolis. Yeah, I've done yeah. a bunch of stuff. So you've yeah. been really working really hard. And I was in Tahoe for a week, in Vegas for a week. Yeah. yeah. Is that to promote your CD? No, it's just to do clothes. Uh, comedy clubs. I am a political comedian. Um, 
know, sometimes the clubs, they don't want to hear what I have to say because mm -hmm. they're so young. Mm -hmm. You know, the average age of a comedy club remains the same. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's 21 to 35, and I've gotten to the point where they just stare at me like, why is this bitter old man <laughs> lecturing me? So, it's better for me to do theater. You know what? Come on in. We're yeah, done. Come on in. We're done. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, you know, sorry, we just wanted to use this. She's not going to distract you. Just go in. I'm going to be on the side of Hi, and you are? Pete. And you are? Pete, Pete I'm Will. Hi, Will. <laughs> and you are? Gary. Gary? <laughs> Pete and Gary. Um, we're going to end the interview now. And uh, we'll try to talk to Pete and Gary after the yeah. show, see if they enjoyed it. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks. See you after the show. Thanks, Thanks Pete. Thanks, Gary. Thank you. Thank you. Very cute. That's funny. That's so cool. Debbie Durst, fashion consultant to the stars. Uh. Every night. Thank you, Petaluma, for coming out and giving up a Tuesday, for Christ's sake. Uh, we never expected this many people would uh, stray downtown. And uh, we want to thank, yeah, I've, I've been fired by the San Francisco Examiner twice. It's kind of like getting kicked out of Kmart for violating the dress code, you know. <laughs> You're proud and pissed at the same time. <laughs> Political comedy in the Examiner, eh, not a match. <laughs> I am the luckiest human here, though, because... Uh, political comic, sometimes there's nothing going on and I'm screwed, but not now. <laughs> and I have you, the people of California, to thank. Actually, we're, we're so proud that uh, California has regained the mantle of madcap. <laughs> well, you know, for a long time, Florida had it. Deservedly so. Minnesota had it for a while, but I think we all saw the movie Predator. <laughs> Jesse Ventura was Schwarzenegger's bitch in that movie. I just wonder if anybody's keeping an eye on Carl Weathers. You know, maybe he's in Wyoming forming an exploratory committee. <laughs> but you think of it, I mean, most states, they get, what, one or two weenie losers to pick from, not California. We got to choose the lesser of 135 evils. <laughs> we are the state that put the mock in democracy. We are so proud. California, hear us roar. <laughs> Vote for me if you want to live. <laughs> and I still don't understand why he was a legitimate candidate and Gary Coleman was the joke candidate. <laughs> they were equally qualified. The only difference is one was able to pass the clown hand that said, you must be this tall to govern California. He's become a politician so quickly. I mean, he's learned so well. During the campaign, they asked him what specific programs he was going to get rid of the balance of budget. And he declined, of course, saying, uh, I don't know yet. I have much to learn. I'm hungry for knowledge. I'm like a sponge. <laughs> he said that. <laughs> Governor Sponge. <laughs> Following in the tentrals of Governor Jellyfish. California politics, a subject only a marine biologist could love. <laughs> You're an interesting crowd. You have your own f favorite joke. Everybody gets one, I guess. <laughs> After the show, we'll ask who didn't get their joke. 